Good evening and uh, <laughs> welcome to Sunday Evening Beer. Sunday Morning Beers. Sunday Morning Beers. Evening Edition. Yeah. Evening Edition. Uh, we're, we're working on some things. You know, if you uh, get the Forestry Brewery newsletter, you probably read in there uh, that we were on a hiatus last week. Uh, partially because we were up in the UP, but partially because uh, we said we needed to retool it, dumb down the show, get edgier to uh, build our uh, audience. Um, I mean, for God's sakes, if more people are watching a show about people picking up dog poop, what? Or buying uh, junk uh, out of a storage shed, then are watching this show. Something is clearly wrong with uh, the American viewing public, I guess. So you know we're working on some things, and we thought, you know, how about a theme song? Who doesn't uh, Who doesn't like a theme song? Does anybody know that theme song? Email us. It's very hip, you know. Yeah. It's very hip. Let us know if mm -hmm. you recognize that song. Yeah. It's good song. Good song. So, anyways, uh, if you were. Uh, you know, you saw that we weren't on last week, and then if you tuned in this morning and saw there wasn't anything, I probably wondered what was going on. But uh, I have a cold, and uh, uh, it's really uh, lingering, and I feel really crappy, and I felt really crappy this morning, so there was no way that we were doing a show. No. And it kind of played a part in uh, with the beer. Yeah, that night um, well kicked your ass. With the it? cold, I didn't want to drink, uh, you know, taste buds aren't really there. So I didn't want to get drink anything that we never had before. So we went with a good standby. It's a good standby. Uh, we bought a six pack of this when we were up in the Sioux. Uh, Founders Centennial IPA, which uh, we were talking about that earlier, that, uh, you know, the Sioux, really the whole, it's just, it's just a good ideal to show you how craft beer has really taken off. It used to be, if you went up to the Sioux, and I swear it wasn't that long ago, um, you were getting, uh, maybe if you were lucky, you were getting Bells. You were getting one or two beers from Bells. Now this store, this this is a regular grocery store, you know, they got like a whole door of Michigan beers in the cooler. You know, so how cool is that? And a brewery. Mm hmm and a brewery too. So, you know, the the craft beer world, it's, it's a beautiful thing to have choices, for sure. And to be able to go uh, anywhere, uh, just about and, and anywhere anybody that's not selling good beer is really shouldn't be in business if it's a store or a restaurant or whatever they're really yeah. behind the time that's a chain store too so they yeah definitely should have some definitely. commercially sold beers from Michigan sure. there. you bet so speaking of Michigan beers this week is a big week uh, for Michigan beer lovers as it is the 15th annual Michigan Brewers Guild Summer Festival Friday and Saturday uh, get your tickets if there's still some tickets left we uh, will not be serving beer there. We haven't obviously been there for a number of years uh, because we just don't have enough help to be able to get away for two days. We could do one day thing. We do yeah. the fall festival, but the two days we can't uh, pull that off. But we will be there on uh, Saturday. Uh, so say hi to us. We might even, who knows, we might bring the camera along and uh, work that into a segment. You somewhere. might uh, actually be on Sunday morning beers the next day. Mm hmm You could. You could. Yeah, if you do a little uh, bit of filming, you idea. may actually yeah. be on we camera. Could work, uh, we could work it into the show. For sure. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. And cool. hopefully Spot. the weather will not be as hot as it's been, uh, say, like it was today. Yeah, we can only hope. Or for most of the summer, because uh, it's been pretty miserable. And, you know, you're drinking beer. I mean, uh, drinking beer is never a bad time. No. But, um, you know, it's not like we're just uh, hanging out in the backyard. Uh, drinking something we had a hundred times. A lot of times we're drinking beer. Most of the beers we're drinking we've never had before. Right. You know, so you want to be able to enjoy that a little bit, and it's kind of hard when yeah. it's really hot and yucky. Because those tents and, are out in the sun, and, you mm -hmm. know, it's just and it's, no uh, breeze. It's not a lot of shade, not a lot of breeze. So, uh, you know, yeah. hopefully, hopefully we'll have some good weather. We'll and you can't jump in the river there. They you can't jump in, in the water. You can't jump in there. <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to jump in that river. No. Uh, plus the current moves pretty fast. Does it really? Follow there too. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, let's pray. Everybody pray for cooler weather. It's cooler weather. At least in the 80s. Little cool, a little cool front, at least for Friday and Saturday. Yeah, in the Friday 80s. You know, in no, the 80s, I can feel But no rain it. either. We won't yeah, take the rain earlier true. in the week. That's true. That's true. We don't want the rain. Good point. Um, it, when it's, it's muddy, it's It's tough to have uh, perfect weather for a beer festival. <laughs> really, it's, you know, it's amazing. We go every year to the uh, Great Taste in Madison. And I don't you know, know how it is. Get. I mean, that's been going on way longer than the Michigan Brewers Guild Festival. 25 years? And yeah, I think it is 25 years this year. And how is it that, uh, I mean, I've been for the majority of, I'm going to say, 15 years. How is it that it's very rarely that you have bad weather there? Well, know? well, the Michigan Brewers Guild Festival has definitely had their share. We had a turtle downpour last year uh, at, the Michigan, at the Great Taste. 
Don't you remember that? Remember it I slipped matter. and fell in the mud? Well, it wasn't really torrential. It, it did rain, but it was very brief, though. So okay. It was very brief. It, but, you know, the Michigan Brewers Guild Festival's had plenty of years with okay. bad weather. There was one year uh, when it was back uh, in one single tent was the whole festival, mm -hmm. they made everybody evacuate the tent. Uh, there was the really torrential drown pour. Oh. Uh, on Friday, we didn't go. We went on Saturday. Yeah. And it was like a, yeah. it was like a uh, swamp. It was like a swamp. I remember how wet it was. But Friday, people went Friday. They know. So there's been lots of bad weather. But yeah. you know, like you said, it's you know one or two days. Uh, how are you gonna get lucky? Yeah, like but it's that. it's always fun. Mm -hmm. It's, it's still fun. a good time because it's drinking beer. That's what it's all about. And it's drinking Michigan beer. <laughs> so that's what's going on. Now you're gonna be thinking about that. You know what might be a good primer for you is to come to Fort Street Brewery. Mm -hmm. On Friday, uh, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Uh, it's going to be two fists tonight. We're going to have two new beers. A couple of cool things we have. Uh, first of all, it's just super cool. Uh, a rye stout made with Michigan tart cherries. And you got to love the name. Super massive black hole of deliciousness. It's a repeat beer. We did it once before, about a year and a half ago. But so we have that. That's a big batch. We're going to be on tap for a little while. And then a cast conditioned version of that, minus the tart cherries, but with cranberries in there. So it's like a different kind of tartness, you know, tart cherries and then cranberries kind of tart, some people would say too. So hmm. a couple of really cool things, I think, uh, to check out on Thursday, and that's a good primer for Friday, for sure, I think. Hmm. So that's what's going on uh, this week. We'll see you at the brewery, and hopefully we'll also see you at the festival on Saturday, right? Excellent. Everybody have a great week. Cheers. We'll see you soon.